Well, covering our health today, the holidays are a time of joy and family gatherings, but they can also be a time when a scary medical event happens. According to the American Heart Association, more heart attacks occur during the winter holidays than any other time of the year. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Carrie Beal is live here to explain why that happens and also talk with a woman who had a heart attack at 33 years old. Yeah, during the holidays, we have a lot going on. There's parties, parades, and big family gatherings. Doctors say it's easy to put our health as the last priority. But one woman learned the hard way, the consequence of doing this, and now she has advice for others. At the age of 33, Malia Jefferson thought she did a good job of taking care of her body. She tried to go to the gym a few days a week and mostly focused on cardio workouts. I do have a very strong family history of heart diseases and, and heart issues. I knew it would be a possibility for me. And so prior to having my heart attack, I had made some lifestyle changes that I thought would help um, prevent it. It's why she was surprised when one day she wasn't feeling well. I just felt incredibly tired. I was having cold sweats. It was almost to the point where I couldn't even make it from my bathroom to my bedroom. Jefferson later realized she had experienced a widowmaker heart attack. This happens when there is full blockage in the biggest artery of the heart. Lots of people die from that and um, I didn't. And so um, I think it is amazing that I'm here today. What really worried her is that she had a one-year-old daughter. Oh my gosh, what if I had not survived this heart attack? and I would have left her there. It was, that part was probably the most traumatic for me. At the time of her heart attack, Jefferson says she was working long hours as an attorney. I think stress played a large part in me having a heart attack at the time. Being an attorney, trying to work towards making partner at a law firm, being a new mother. Bon Secours cardiologist Dr. Daniel Green says many people don't realize the impact stress can have. We know that um, stress can increase your blood pressure. It often causes people to make bad choices like overindulging in alcohol. And, um, and it can uh, cause you to lose sleep as well. He says right after the holidays, he often sees an increase of patients because they overindulge in food or drink, delay doctor's appointments, are highly stressed, and don't make a plan. And allow yourself to enjoy the holidays, but just have a plan about how much you're going to indulge rather than limiting yourself or saying you're not going to indulge and then overdoing it when you give in. Jefferson says she has made many changes in her life since her heart attack and tries to stick to them this time of year. Instead of doing just cardio, she has incorporated strength training. Just trying to be more conscious of having a well-rounded fitness plan. She also lowered her salt intake, focused on more plant-based foods, and most importantly, she made time for herself. It meant setting boundaries. It meant saying, you know, no to things, not putting too many things on my plate. Jefferson admits it's still a struggle every day, but it's never too late to start. Always start today. Like, you, you don't have to beat yourself up about what you did and do right yesterday. You don't even have to beat yourself up about what you didn't do right this morning. You can start right now. The American Heart Association says the symptoms of a heart attack can sometimes surprise people. They say while a lot of people experience chest pain, that's not the only symptom. In Jefferson's case, she had extreme fatigue and cold sweats. Some also experience discomfort in the arm or shoulder. Lightheadedness and nausea is another symptom. If you are experiencing any of these, make sure to go to the hospital right away or call 911. Carrie Beale, Fox Carolina News.